Hi guys, welcome to FA Channel. You're in a space where we celebrate our technology and creativity. Every week we're posting three to five videos to share new virtual experience, learning process, and some playful um, experiments. Also some news that can affect our virtual experience. And today is the big news that I, want, I was waiting for a long time. It's about multi-user function on your Oculus Quest. So at this moment, it's only for Oculus 2. Multi-user function means that you can share your Oculus Quest using different accounts with your family members while keep your own privacy. Man, that's great because that means you don't have to, for example, when you have, when you download the app and you want your family member to play with it, you don't have to purchase another device anymore. Or you can, if you have two devices and you, you only need to purchase on the primary account, so the secondary account member can also, can also play the app at the same time. So in today's episode, let's talk about how to set up and what are the restrictions out there for the secondary or third users. At this moment, it is the experimental feature. So there are some restrictions. Also, um, the maximum count you can have on one device is, can be up to four. So you can add three for a top user. So that's pretty good. And we, record, we recorded the whole process. So let's get started. First of all, since this is like the experimental Feature. So when you go setting, you will see experimental feature and then turn on multi accounts and library sharing, as you can see. Then once you turn on, you will see that on the left side, the accounts um, tab show up on the menu and then you just click on the account, and add account, and then continue. Next step is to log in with your Facebook or Oculus account. Then this part, we can't really screenshot or cast. We just uh, record it with our phone. So hopefully that also is not that clear, but it can help you figure it out. So once you um, set unlock button, confirm, then you need to watch this instruction video. I don't think you can skip that. And then just watch through that. Then you're good to go. So which means your account is switched. So now, now you have the secondary account. So the library will show the bo both apps, like the primary account and sec secondary account apps. For example, um, this counterfeit Ichiran it now show up in the secondary account. We download it from another device. So now it's show up in this device too. Perfect, which means you don't have to purchase twice, right? And then there's one problem show up is if you want to download app, like side loaded app, like MultiBrush that I mentioned in one of the video, it's not show up on app. You need to go to the side quest, but it doesn't really work. It shows like this, use Debugging is not allowed. So it seems like, it also seems like the access to file storage permission also doesn't work. I really hope in the future, App Lab will solve the problem, but at this point, um, it doesn't really work. So what is works is the Oculus link still works and the virtual desktop still working. So there's no problem for that. It's just when you want any apps like MultiBrush, the needed a site loaded apps, it's kind of tricky. So we really try to figure out how we're gonna get our photos, screenshots, recorded video from this account. So what we did is to uh, try to go back to the primary account and then under profile, you just switch your account and try to go back, but, and then try to directly access to the Oculus Quest it's not there because you recorded on the other secondary account, right? So it doesn't really work. So we figured the only way that works is to 
send to yourself through Facebook. <laughs> it's definitely not the best situation so far, but it works in some way. So in terms of playing with apps, I really think it's great function, the multi-user. But if you want to do record and screenshot, you have to send it to your Facebook app. It's kind of still working. You just need some more work. So yeah, hopefully this is very clear for you. So basically, if you have one account, one device, you can create different accounts for different family member to use for that one device. But if you have two devices like us, make sure download the app on the primary account. Then the secondary account can play whatever you download on the primary account. If it's the opposite, for example, if your secondary account have BeSaver, the primary account can't really see it, can't really play with it. But if it's opposite, it works. Hopefully that's clear for you guys and hopefully this video can be helpful for some of you. For us, this is a very like exciting news. And yeah, that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, you can comment on our YouTube below or join our Discord server. We'll answer as soon as possible. Please subscribe our channel for new updates every week. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.